I'm Yvette Marquez. Welcome to Muy Bueno. Today I have a special guest and friend with me. Her name is Vianne and she's an award-winning food blogger over at Sweet Life. Thanks for having me, Yvette. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Vianne Rodriguez from Sweet Life and later today we're having, hosting a fiesta where we'll be serving empanadas and sopas. And our guests will be bringing a variety of fillings and toppings so that's less time for us in the kitchen and we get to enjoy our guests a little bit more. And my mom's in town, so she'll be able to teach us a few tips. Vianne is going to be making the dough for the empanadas and I'm going to teach you how to make sopes. Our guests will be arriving shortly, Yvette, so let's get started on the empanada dough. I think we better. <laughs> empanadas can be made with either sweet or savory fillings. The dough we are teaching you today is best for sweet fruit fillings. Omit the sugar if you are making savory empanadas. In a stand mixer, place three cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder, half a teaspoon salt, and two tablespoons granulated sugar and combine. Add half a cup Crisco vegetable shortening and mix until shortening is well incorporated with the dry ingredients. I love cooking my empanadas with Crisco because it makes them more flaky and tender. In a separate bowl, add two eggs and half a cup condensed milk and whisk together. Add the eggs and milk in the stand mixer and continue to mix until the dough comes together. Remove the dough from the mixer and knead and form into a ball. Next, split the dough in half and form two balls of dough. Now, let's wrap them with plastic wrap to let the dough rest. Refrigerate the dough for about 30 minutes to make it easier to roll out. Sopes are thick shells made from masa harina, which is corn flour. They are essentially an open-faced taco that is thicker than a regular corn tortilla and has a pinched edge. Sopes are easy to make and can be topped with just about anything you can imagine. To begin, add two cups of masa harina in a mixing bowl. Add one quarter teaspoon salt and combine. Next, add one tablespoon Crisco vegetable shortening. I prefer to use shortening instead of lard because it makes the dough softer. Rub the shortening and dry ingredients between your fingers until evenly combined. Next, add one and a half cups of warm water and knead until mixture is smooth and slightly sticky. If the dough is dry, feel free to add a little more water. The dough should be soft and moist, like Play-Doh. Form dough into balls approximately the size of a golf ball. Cover the bowl with a damp cloth. It is important to keep the dough soft and moist. Here's a great tip so your dough will not stick to the press. Take a freezer bag that has been cut to size and line your press. Next, place a ball of dough on the press and cover with another piece of plastic and lightly press down to form a little quarter inch thick patty. Careful not to press them too thin. Repeat with the remaining balls of dough. If you don't have a tortilla press, you can use a heavy skillet or pot to make the dough patties. Then cook the patties on a preheated comal for about two to four minutes on each side until dry. While the cooked patty is still warm and as soon as you are able to handle it, Sculpt the dough, forming a little ridge all the way around to hold the toppings. Repeat with the remaining patties. After your ridges have been formed, place the sopas back on the comal. Your sopas are ready when golden brown and a few cinch spots appear. These sopas are now ready to be topped with toppings and then afterwards will be baked and garnished. It's time to roll out our empanada dough. Banji is going to help us with this next step. On a floured surface, Roll out the dough and cut into small round circles with a 4 inch round mold. Stack the disc between parchment paper. We'll roll them out when our guests arrive.
clearly remember us kids watching my mom sitting at the table pinching the dough of her famous pumpkin empanadas. Every time I smell pumpkin, it takes me right back to mommy's kitchen. She would give us a little piece of dough to play with as the empanadas were baking. Once the empanadas were baked, it was a race to grab a warm empanada right out of the oven. It's time to fill our empanadas. Before you begin filling, here's a quick tip. Roll the disc out a bit because the dough will have decreased in size. Now, brush the edges of the circles with milk to help seal the two halves. Next, place a small dollop of filling on each of the rolled out circles. Fold over the dough and seal off the edges with a fork by pressing down along the edges. This also makes for a pretty pattern when baked. Then, place the empanadas on a parchment lined baking sheet. Now, lightly brush each empanada with some condensed milk. To allow steam to escape while baking, puncture the top of each empanada with a fork. Now we can place the baking sheet into a 350 degree oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes on the middle rack until golden brown. Every time I see red chile sauce, I think of my grandma's sopes. I remember she would always make them on Saturdays, but only if she had red chile sauce left over after a previous night of making her famous red enchiladas. It was a real treat because she rarely had leftover chile sauce. She would use the sauce and fill each sope with a spoonful of chile, some warm frijoles de la olla, and top each with asadero cheese. Then she would place them in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. These little appetizers are delicioso. I call them mini Mexican pizzas. I like to top mine with slices of avocados. Even before I take one bite, I feel like I'm back in my grandma's cozy cocina. Enjoyed these recipes and this fiesta and are inspired to host one of your own. To find these recipes, be sure to look for the Muy Bueno Cookbook and the recipes will also be on our blog. Thank you for joining us. We also have some exciting news for those who love to bake. Crisco Pie and Baking Hotline is back and this year available in Espanol. And be sure to check out Crisco.com for more recipes. Adios. Bye. <laughs>